this video is mostly for Smiley's production. This guy's got worse diarrhea of the mouth than I do. Um, it's my understanding that this is the first comment. Not just Latinos are victims to this Americanization, aka the rape and destruction of culture. Take a long, hard look at India and how that land was raped by the English, as well as Iraq, before you go on a racist spout about those good-for-nothing barbarians. They've invented algebra, which was one of the biggest stepping stones in our future now. As for the jobs, yes, Mexicans take jobs. They take the dirtiest jobs needed done. No, dumbass. They take high-paying jobs. They just closed down a, uh, a building here in Arizona that was employing 24 illegal immigrants with phony IDs, American IDs, okay, fraudulent IDs, uh, that was paying, uh, like, them 30-something dollars an hour, okay? and no taxes. Uh, Russia is suffering economically because of its lack of immigration due to all the dirty work. True fact, yet that's the racist capital of the world. They have their own schools and train soldiers to attack immigrants. I don't give a shit about Iraq. I don't give a shit about Russia. I don't give a shit about whoever else that you Algier, uh, no. Oh, where the hell was it? Well, you heard me. I don't care about any of them. I don't care more worried about my fucking state that my ancestors have fought for. My grandfather, my father, my great-grandfather. Um, by the way, just so everybody knows, I'm not from Europe. My ancestors are not from Europe. Okay? I'm Irish. God! Not everybody that's white is from Europe. Just like everybody brown ain't from Mexico. Racist bastards. Y'all are the ones calling us racist. Remember that. Um, Mexicans were a, slave, were a slave labor force brought here by your ancestors. Much like Africans. No, actually, um, the blacks slaved the blacks before the whites slaved the blacks. There's a video. I got to find it for you. It's a black guy that tells you the black history, and he will sit there and he will tell you that actually blacks enslaved whites, and blacks enslaved blacks before whites enslaved anybody. You dumbass. Your ignorance blinds your judgment. No, your ignorance blinds your own judgment. Yeah, I'm Latino, which don't surprise me. A very damn well-educated one, too. Apparently not. Um... There's more to it. Hang on. This guy, like I said, talks worse than I do. Healthcare isn't free. Duh, but your ancestors and your fellow Mexicans think they are. Taxes are illegal and unconstitutional. <laughs> Maybe in Mexico, but not here in the United States. They were never made into law. And rich white man's America's dream was to escape the taxes that was being forced upon them. Long after the, they migrated to America, Americas, yeah, listen to this, long after, some well-educated, after, long after they migrated to Americas, period. <laughs> yes, that's right, the white man wasn't born here, duh, neither was the brown man. Indians were, you dumbass. Indians had control of this land before you did. Our schools aren't overcrowded. You must be thinking of third world countries, buddy. No one is forcing Americans to learn Spanish. Bullshit! They require second uh, Spanish to be a second language in, in high schools, okay? You have to learn Spanish before you can graduate high school. Okay? At least that's my at least that's the way it is in Georgia. I don't know about here. Okay, but the school I went to I had to learn Spanish. Okay? And I couldn't get out of it. Oh my god. And our schools are not overcrowded? Are you fucking ignorant? I mean, jeez. Oh, my God. Um, also, news for you, buddy, and everyone else who's ignorant and actually listens to you. America is working on the... All right, I'm, I'm going to be ignorant on this one. A-M-E-R-O. 
a new currency replacing the U.S. dollar, and North American Union, NAU, meaning Mexico, Canada, and America will be one country, like the EU, European Union. This means there will be no borders, no illegal aliens, everyone will be part of the same country. Now tell me, how will you hide your racism behind excuses when this occurs? For one, I'm not racist, okay? I'm, I'm being called a racist because I agree with illegal immigrants being kicked out of the United States. If this happens, okay, more power to them. I don't mind the legal ones. Legal ones, fine. But when you come here illegally, that's what I'm talking about. If they ban illegal immigrants, if, if there's no such word of it, then fine. I have no problem with that, okay? My best friend is Mexican, and sooner or later I'll get him to get on video for me. But right now, both of us are way too damn busy. Uh, you'll be seeing less of me, by the way. I know you'll be glad about that, Smiley's production. But you will still see me on here. One of many of my accounts, I'll be on here. Another comment from Diarrhea Mouth. On top again, excuse me, on top again, this is none of your racial racism clearly displayed here. Excuse me, I apologize. This is more of your racial, radical racism clearly displayed here. How would you react if on 4th of July, Mexicans ran around waving the Mexican flag, singing Spanish songs, enjoying their culture? They do! <laughs> God, are you that fucking ignorant and that fucking blind? It, um, I'm not even going to get into it because I know my, my minutes are cutting short. How about a well-structured response instead of all these half-asses, duh, I'm a dork hick response you've been giving. You know, I, I give those dumb hicks boop. Uh, oh, that's a stupid hick. I'm a stupid hick response. Okay. The reason I do that is because it lets you people see how stupid you being. I said you being. I have a little southern accent. Oh, wait a minute. There's more. You mean Fox News, right? Let me clear this up for you, buddy. It's been proven time and time again that American news is a bunch of one-sided BS. It's not the point. Okay? I don't give a shit. I watch the news. The news tells me I enjoy watching news, and I sit here and see it. Okay? My ID five years ago was stolen by an illegal immigrant. Okay? Now I have IRS biting at my fucking ass because of that person. Which, by the way, I would like to thank him for giving me more money on my taxes, though. Uh, the Constitution you so happily stand by. I don't remember saying anything about Constitution. It does not apply only to you, dipshit. It applies to every American. Get over yourself. America, it's, it, America isn't the greatest country in the world. Long before this Constitution, there was the... M-A-G-A... Uh, N-A... C-A-T-A. -A. Figure it out. And more civil right laws that date back to Babylon. Sad when a Latino is smarter than you, huh? No, not really, because you just proved how stupid you are. Oh, here's another one. Why does that not surprise me? And finally, my last post, your last words, criminals do not have rights. America disagrees. Bullshit! Only you disagree! Because you're Latino. Uh, when a criminal is arrested, he's read his Miranda rights. A little history lesson. Miranda was a rapist who raped a young woman and got off free of charges because he was read, wasn't read his rights. He was later arrested and sentenced to life in prison. This America you stand by so probably has much bigger problems than illegal immigrants. Like, what smileys? Enlighten us. How about the war? I don't care about the war. I think that's the last post he wrote. God, this guy's got diarrhea at the mouth. Worse than I do. Um, let's go back to that last uh, comment, okay? Criminals, yes, they have rights. I agree with you on that. But you're not understanding, okay? Illegals don't have rights in the United States, okay? And as soon as they cross over that border, that makes them a criminal, which means they need to be supervised. They need to be disciplined. Not get free food at the fucking Salvation Army or wherever the hell you get free food. Not pay taxes and all that other shit. So who's got diarrhea of the mouth? Okay, maybe me, but you got diarrhea of the keyboard and you need to start learning what the...